<laughs> hey, Doug, did you see the, the new VFX uh, Famous Puppets of Hauntland catalog? Yeah, I was just showing it before. There, there's a whole page of bungee heads in there. Where were you? Oh, you bungee that? heads, but like this, like a bungee head, like this right here. Yeah, it's on page oh 13. God, there's even more. There's, there's more. more. <laughs> <laughs> ah, quit that. <laughs> They're fun. Yeah. Bungee heads. So we got a, we put a whole new banner. It's got our new bungee head on it because we wanted to show it because I made it. So this is this is a new clown bungee I made. It's on the back here. We got him here. We'll show you. That's uh, Splitzo. Splitzo the clown. So bungee heads. They're awesome. Walk around props. Carry them with you. They weigh about two pounds. They're latex. Actually, premium quality rubber latex or something that I put in there. I made the ad kind of off of a. Uh... I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> I made the ad to look kind of like an old Topstone or uh, Don Post ad, so it's loosely based on that. In the back of your catalogs, when you get them things, deluxe latex rubber bungee heads. Woo -wee -wee -wee. It's on page 13. I chose that because it's the last page. That's what it was. So anyway. Bungee heads. So yeah, these are awesome. You can walk around, scare the crud out of people. If you guys see me at a show, I'll probably be throwing them at you. Now you're seeing me at this show, so I'll throw one at you. Oh, ah! Oh, oh, oh. O'Reilly. Oh, this isn't a commercial for O'Reilly. What? They are all on sale right now all on, on our sale, website. On the website. On our biggest online sale we've ever had. VFXcreates.com. Go there now. Okay. Not, not, not now, but stay You can go us. there now. Go there now and buy <laughs> stuff. Now. Just stop them from, I don't care if you keep watching me, you now you've seen the cool thing, go buy this. All right, so, bungee head, it's latex with foam, it's reinforced, so this actually has cloth and another piece of foam and another piece, a little piece of wood and PVC all built into the mold before I ever pull it out. This is all, this isn't like I took a head and ripped the back out and figured out how to hold it in there. No, this is all built into the mold, it's not coming out of there. This is not coming out. Like, I'm pulling it hard. It's not coming out. Uh, I've taken this to haunts and uh, had their actors use it, and they're heaving it as hard as they can. I'm like, you could seriously just toss that thing. You don't have to heave it as hard. It's effective just by tossing it. Uh, safety. Don't throw it at people. We know you're going to. Uh, so, yeah, bungee head. So, what it started with was um, did a life cast at HauntCon one year. Yep. I was the life that was the model. I'm a model. <laughs> You like what you see? I'm a model. Uh, I'm a model, a voice actor, an artist. Sex sells. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> All right. So what it was was this is my head. So when you get one, you if you know me on Facebook, it'll likely tag that head as me. It's done it. It's done before. So it started with the original Doug head down here on the end. So this is the Doug head, dead Doug head. I don't even know what we call it in the catalog. You got the catalog. What do I call it? I don't have my glasses. Oh, on. just open it. Let me see. Original Deadhead, and then we went to the original clown. So there's the original clown because, you know, it's clown. So that was the first two. The third one was actually the ghoul. So here's the ghoul right here. And then we made a green ghoul version. He's in the catalog. I don't have one here, but there's a green ghoul. And then we made him into the Yule ghoul. So we had a Santa hat, and he's green, so it's for Christmas. So that's, in our, that's actually on our creepy Christmas page, page 12, because 12 is for Christmas, 12 days of Christmas. See what I did when I laid that catalog uh, out? You know what? We have, we, I just want to put it, we're just going to interject here with our Christmas stuff. We just have our Christmas line up on the website Creepy right Christmas. Now. There's, there are Masks puppets. and puppets and boxes and happy boxes. Back to bungee heads. Because you guys do Christmas stuff. That'll be after haunt season, but you right. can order them now if you want. You are they on sale right now? keep the fun of Halloween going. If you got I'll questions, we'll just holidays. ask the questions. And we're getting late in the show. I don't know if anyone's the, even watching anymore. keep the profit going, too. Profit, Christmas, Christmas stuff. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. So, the bungee heads. I got like 24 different ones at this point. So we went from Doug's head. Oh, then I made, you know, a, a rotted version. So there's zombie versions. You can request different ones. So this one's actually more of a dead zombie version. Doesn't have fresh blood on it. So the one I've been throwing is a ripped version of my head. So there's a ripped bloody and ripped rotted. Depends on your theme. If you got rotten stuff, you want the rotten version. Then I made a ripped clown. So that's ripped clown. This is a UV clown. And we'll turn the black light on here. We can show you the UV ones. What else do I got? I got a skull. So this was the original skull. 
This is the UV skull, and this is actually the latex is tinted with the UV paint, um, and then I paint on top of it as well. So this will basically always have glow to it in under black light because the latex actually glows under black light. Then I turned it into the really, really gross skinned skull with a bulging eye, fully covered in perma blood from Pale Knight. A little shout out to our friends at Pale Knight Productions. Um, so we use their blood on these. So that was the ripped skull. Let's see, monkeys came out with a monkey this last year. Monkey. And we got a regular monkey and then our voodoo monkey. He's got his, he's got his eyes and his mouth sewn shut. Got him sewn shut with some jute, some jute twine. Here, you want to hang, hang on to that head, so some head. So then our catalog, our cover, uh, our banner. That's what that is, the banner. We got Spritzo, which is also my head that I put together and I put two of them together. Ah! See, it's so easy, even Pat can do it. <laughs> but yeah, I came up with this at HauntCon. I was talking about that, wasn't I? And then we went into model and I just totally went on a tangent. Uh, so I was sitting there, we did a live cast at HauntCon and didn't want to just make severed heads because there's a lot of people that make severed heads. We did a trip out to Not Scary Farm in 2016. Yep. Um, little haunt trip for the company because I had a art show in LA. We're just round about everything all coming together. Went to Not Scary Farm as a clown walking around with those little bungee balls and literally sitting at the studio one day with my head in my hand, like I had my head in my hands. And that clicked in my head. I said, oh, that would be cool. Did somebody make a head on a bungee? Couldn't find it. Never, I've been going to Trans World and haunt shows since 2007. Uh, never saw anyone make it, so I started making one. We brought the first one like three years ago now. Three trans well at least. Yeah. Uh, brought the first heads, so now we're up to like 24 plus different heads. They're variations. There's not necessarily that different, many, many different molds. Doug's been busy. I've been busy. <laughs> I make a lot of stuff. So we got Splitzo the Clown. We got Odd Eddie, even though it's me, but I liked it because it sounds like Oddity. Odd Eddie. <laughs> Uh, then I made Odd Eddie half zombie, so it's regular zombie. Then we got Splitzo in UV, so he glows under black light. Again, we'll do the black light. Then we did a new one, and this is Screaming Jack. And I'll throw it at Pat. This is a little bigger. We have this as a pumpkin by itself without the face, which I don't have here. Um, and that worked really good. Yeah. <laughs> This one's a little bit bigger. The cord's slightly shorter, but it still goes almost as far. Yeah. And you just basically get down how far you can you can do stuff and do stuff like that and have fun with it. And if you want to, when you start throwing it, you shorten the cord up. So I just shortened it. Then I get closer to Pat and freak him out and just keep doing it. <laughs> uh, but that's Screaming Jack. And what this is is our pumpkin that Carmen, our friend Carmen Fairless, sculpted. Thank you, Carmen. He's done Carmen. a lot of our creature, crate creatures. Um, yeah, mostly our crate creatures that we've been doing for us. So that was that pumpkin, and this was a scanner's mask that Pat sculpted in 93? I think. 93 or 96, something like that. Yeah. Um, and then I spliced them together and made a whole new mold out of it. So that's Screaming Jack. I can do that as UV as well, and then we make pumpkins, which basically just look like that without the face on it. Um, do that as regular, and we do that as a UV one. I keep saying we, I. I do <laughs> all of these. Um, so brand, brand, brand new is Daryl, the bungee head Daryl. And this is my mutant. Yeah. It's, he's scared because I don't have a lock on this yeah. one. I'm just holding on to it because I just finished him. Yeah. So that's Daryl. Uh, we had a two-headed costume at one point, and this was the mask you wore. So I do make masks of this as well. If you wanted to wear a mask of this, we can do that. So you can wear this head and throw this head at the same time, uh, which I do with my Two-Face, my Odd Eddie, and my Splitzo. Uh, we have masks of that as well, and I've sat at shows and sat there and did that. Um, then I turned them into a clown, so that's Daryl Clown. I don't know. Start typing names out. We'll pick one, maybe. I don't have exactly a name for... What would Daryl the Clown be? Laughing Daryl? <laughs> We're just throwing it. He's going to hit me because I keep moving. Yeah. So that's Daryl the Clown. And then I just finished the UV version of that. Do we want to do some like haunt lighting and show the UV ones? Yeah. Let's do yeah. haunt lighting. Haunt lighting. Haunt lighting. Make sure that one goes off. Okay. You guys are having fun. Keep asking questions. Guess what? We're going to give a bungee head away very yeah. shortly. 
You hold that, and then I'll show off all the UV ones. Okay. We got lights. Hot lighting. Hot lighting. Hot lighting. Just so you can see the UV ones, and you can see that skull that glows because the whole thing is UV. It's getting dark in here. It's getting dark out. It's dark and it's scary. Look at that. All right. So hopefully you guys can see these. So this is the split clown, obviously his blood and stuff, which I can make it more cartoony. <laughs> so there's ooh, split uh, the uh, ripped clown UV. There's the brand new Daryl clown UV. And his eye does glow. Ooh, <laughs> he's creepy looking. Yeah. And his hair is not as UV as I thought it was, but his face is. Then we got Splitzo, which obviously is one half is way more glowy than the other because the other guy doesn't have it, but his hair glows. So that's cool in a black light. Oh, we should do one. I should throw it. Uh, here's the skull. Like I said, the whole thing is glow. Wow. You want to throw that yeah, one? Yeah, I'll throw that one. Back. Hold, Wait. On. Hold on. I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a glowing skull. What's there to see? Oh. Can you see it all? All right. Ready? Ah. So if you're in a black light room, and you're throwing that at people. <laughs> it's not focusing because it's black light. You guys are probably like, what's going on right now? <laughs> there you go. So if you have your black light room, and you can make your skull or your clown float, and then throw it at the guest, and you're wearing black. So they can't see you. So that's the skull, and then I think I had one other clown. Yeah, so there's oh, yeah. the original clown in UV. I think we might have covered all of them. Everything's glowing because this glows. Woo! So yeah, the bungee heads are just fun. They're all on sale right now at vfxcreates.com through March 31st, right? Yes. So go on, buy them. Ah! 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 It's black and there's just this little bit. Oh, here we are. So who wants to win a bungee head? You better be saying me. You better be saying me, 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 me. So we're going to give you one of the originals. The dead head. Dead head. Ah. I just finished a couple of those. And if you order any of the ones I have here, you'll probably get this one. Because guess what? They're ready to go. They're ready to ship pretty quick. Doug's dead head. Doug's dead head. Do you want to draw it or do you want me to draw it? I get to. All right, pass it on. But he can't read it, so he's going to have to hand it to me anyway. I can't get one. There. All right. Hey, Benjamin Gagney. Which I think you're doing your own shows right now to help the haunters as well. So you're well deserving yeah. of this, sir. Benjamin. Oh, I can see it. it. Yeah. Gagney or Gang. There you go. Sorry, I don't know got how it? to pronounce it properly. So Benjamin, hand that to Price Patrol. You just wanted my head on a string. <laughs> What more could you want? You want to give anything else away? Can we do another t-shirt? Yeah, let's do another t-shirt. All right. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Obviously, we're going to do sound systems still. Yes. So if you want to stick around, we'll do sound systems. T-shirt? Yep. Is that what this yes, is? T-shirt. T-shirt. Everyone tuning in for a t-shirt. You signed up. Eric Hainscog. E-R-I-K Hainscog. He see, he see, he see. Yeah. There, you see it. All right. There we go. You just want a T-shirt. Thank you. Sure. Thank you for registering. Awesome. Thank you for hopefully watching. VFX creates VFXcreates.com. We got the famous puppets of Hauntland catalog. It's the VFX catalog. We just do something different most every year. So you're getting this T-shirt, um, and you're getting that head that you just won. Or you just won T-shirt. Guy before you, Benjamin, won a head. Uh, we've given a lot of stuff away today. So hopefully everyone's still paying attention. Yeah. We got more to give away. Sales, sales, sales going on through March 31st. 2020. 2020. If you're, if you're watching this in the future, you missed it already. Sorry. Uh, we need to make it through this year. <laughs> yes, help us, please. <laughs> As I pointed out, we have other artists that help us when you know they can, and we can get them to help us. So like Carmen sculpted that, and some of the crate creatures. Uh, Kent Kidwell sculpted a couple of heads for Ambrose. us. Uh, Ambrose and Lon. Pat sculpts a lot. We make everything. Do we want to go over that now or are you going to wait until after the sound systems? Uh, we can right now. Right now. We're here. Um, 
This is VFX, pretty much. These are the V. I'm the V in VFX. It's not visual, it's Voss, it's Pad Voss. <laughs> yes, VFX, people think, because he started before that was a digital thing. <laughs> Pat, when did you start making monsters? Uh, when I was in seventh grade. What year was that? Wow, I don't even remember. <laughs> I was in the 70s. Oh, I was in seventh grade in 1991. <laughs> anyway. And 92. Started uh, doing, started it's, doing masks. I didn't, it did crosses the summer. It wasn't like I failed. Started doing masks uh, when, I was, when I was in seventh grade, eighth grade, inspired by the original Planet of the Apes. Uh, my mom actually VFX really VFX story, pay attention. I have a great family that has always been behind me and encouraging me and helping me. I know. And, uh. <laughs> uh, They're not watching this anyway. My family is not watching this. Doing a lot of stuff in the 80s with haunted houses, uh, building a lot of props and monsters uh, for haunted houses. I think there was a squirrel on the roof. And then going on to designing and building and running haunted houses in the early 90s and got out of that because it's a crazy business, as I'm sure a lot of you know. I would love to get back into it. Uh, at some point, if I can handle, you know, this is this is kind of filling my time right now. But I'd love to make anyone out there instead of us doing this. You guys want to pay to make a haunted house? Yeah. <laughs> Forget ordering this stuff. Just give us a lot of money. Yeah. Lots and lots of money. We'll build a haunted house. So anyway. <laughs> oh, there's someone saying they want to give us the money right now. Just in the. Yeah. <laughs> I I was uh, I was actually. Uh, Put myself through through college making and selling masks, mainly uh, Three Stooges masks, and got a call from Columbia Pictures and said, and they told me, stop making them or I might get the lawsuit. Before the days of the internet when they could find out quickly. Yeah, I was selling through <laughs> through the Three Stooges fan club newsletter. If you can believe that, um, but I helped myself. Uh, help me. It was kind of like this. Help me get. Help me get through. And there would have been an ad. Help me get through. It was like that. And. And we said, put your stuff in here and send yeah, a self-addressed, exactly. Stacy, a self-addressed stamped envelope to little Pat, Patty Voss. I, had to, I think I posted that. that you did. I've seen it. But uh, It's printed out over in the studio. Uh, was, the other part of the studio. I at and for 23 years as a graphic artist and uh, designer and um, kept doing this stuff on the side. And then I got, we were told they were going to shut down our department. And I was like, I think I was the only one. Jumping up and down, going, "Yay, I'm out of here!" And everyone else is going, "What the hell am I going to do?" Which was terrible. And uh, um, but I saw. I'm that not dropping as a way anything. To step out of there and try to go full force with my business. I uh, went in and uh, uh, went into my idea book and pulled out three ideas. One of them was a puppet, a zombie puppet, that I had for like five years and didn't do anything with. And finally pulled that out. We made the first Sally Zombie puppet. <laughs> She's sleeping. She taking a nap. She was busy today, and uh, she was busy sitting over there watching us. And I met this guy who was uh, my neighbor's brother, and I had this yeah, guy. I, had, I was doing stuff for uh, a movie, and they were shooting in St. Louis, and I needed somebody to help me. And apparently, he was very talented. Called, went over and said, "Hey, what's your brother's phone number?" Two thousand eight. Ish, yeah. I still worked at Office Depot. I didn't make this stuff at Office Depot. Yeah, so we got. He came over. I know there's other people that helped out with that, building this whole cemetery set, and we got that done. And then move up to 2012, 13, and 11. this started with the puppets and pulled him in because he is incredibly talented. I am very lucky to have Doug. I just make the crap up as I go. Look at the look at the crazy stuff he makes. I make crazy stuff. It's it's fun. He's designed our came up with the uh, the lunging boxes and the, the the illusion boxes. We tag team the crate creatures. Uh, came up with the bungee heads. Yeah. Came up with flow. We have lots more ideas. We got a lot of stuff we're coming out with, guys. Yeah. But we make it through this. We gotta yeah. make sales. VFXGrace.com. So, yeah, I met Pat as well. I'll get my part in here. Met Pat in 2008-ish, I guess, because he's my brother's neighbor, and he asked me if I wanted to come help make these tombstones for the set. And I'm just like, yeah, I didn't actually do anything Halloween this year. It was like in December in the freezing cold in his garage. I think we had the kerosene heater that's probably in this corner now. 
uh, set up to try to stay warm in his garage building tombstones for that set. But I started when I was like six. <laughs> I started a yard haunt. Home haunt when I was six years old. My brother started a yard haunt. I've heard crazy stories. <laughs> there was ketchup as blood. <laughs> we were high tech. Um, painted my first mask, which is actually a respirator mask in like third grade. Um, I was a mad scientist that year. I painted this spider thing on this respirator mask and wore anyway. Uh, I could tell you every kind. So in kindergarten, I was a clown. In first grade, I was uh, Dracula. In second grade, I was Merlin. I went home that year, uh, halfway through trick or treating, to help my brother with a yard haunt, and I was the distraction with a Merlin costume on, and I was banging like a army shovel on a brick while my brother scared and jumped out of the, the hay. So that was a, that was Merlin. Then I was uh, I was third grade. I was the Three Musketeer by myself. Don't ask me why my mother made me a Three Musketeer by myself, but I really liked Three Musketeers that year, that, that candy bar. Fourth grade, I was... Ah, uh, What was I in fourth grade? So anyway... Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was making Haunted House stuff, and I worked for like JC's Haunted House when I was in high school. Um, I had that, that black light you've been seeing us use. I've had that since like 93 or something. Um, still works! Thanks, Spencer Gifts. <laughs> Kevin, that was going to help us at Transworld this year, he works for Spencer's. There's a plug for Kevin Bixacki. <laughs> Bixacki? Yeah. Sorry if I didn't say your name right. Um, so, yeah, VFX, we make everything from scratch because we've been doing it since we were yeah. little kids. We design, do the sculpting, Sculpt, molding, molding we, painting. We the other I painted everything. He's the painter. We don't have two painters, we don't have multiple painters. I painted it all. Um, Hopefully you guys are, this is entertaining to you. I mean, we want you to know what we do and who we are and if you didn't already know this stuff. We do. Everything we build, like all the uh, lunging boxes and uh, illusion boxes, we build from scratch. We, I mean, buy the wood, cut the wood, put it, like, glue everything together. It's behind the wall the glass, in the studio here. You know. Uh, we, trim plexi, trim mirrors. Cut, all cut the wiring, C channel, channel yeah. Together. We build it. It's us. Everything. Uh, the sound systems that we'll show you coming up. It's the only thing we don't design, we don't build and design. And we actually had a local company, uh, SG Labs, design the stuff for us, and it was being built in St. Louis for us. So we're near the St. Louis. Uh, we're just Southern Illinois, but yeah, it's all made that can be by us, or it's made in the USA, um, yep. which is hard to say much anymore if that helps you guys realize what's put into it we're literally building everything yep. um it's built to last it's like these bungee heads um the only thing i've had people the old ones had a slide lock on them and those broke we got a new ball lock on them so that it's solid it doesn't break um yeah like puppets we've had people use them and sell them and buy new ones like they changed their theme they had a zombie we just had a customer got a new uh ambrose i think ordered ambrose and he sold off his werewolf and a clown or something he had. And yep. the good thing is they last. The bad thing is they last. We need you to buy more. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to lie. We want to make money doing this. Uh, but it's it's we make stuff because we want it to last. It's not. Yeah, we make good quality. That's our that's our goal. Make quality products that people want. And, and if, if it doesn't last, call that guy. I'm not taking care of you. Okay. I'm not. Uh, and, we, and it's really just me and Doug mainly. We do have a. Uh, Sandy Pan, who's our seamstress, she comes in and sells a lot of stuff. Hey, if you get us. the catalog, we, we had special have... thanks in our catalog this year to people that all helped us out. So we got me and Pat, obviously. We got Sandy Pan that uh, does sewing and stuff for us. We got Carmen and Ken who did some special sculpting with us. And then we have our friends Eric Wright, Sabrina Doris, Lisa Brown, Jenna McDonald uh, did some different stuff in the studio. Yep. Uh, Sean, what's Sean's last name? You didn't get him in the catalog. Your future son in law. He's not working with us right now. Well, some other people weren't either. Um, Jenna hasn't been here, but, you know, she helped. And then James, that's the guy that's right here. That's his finger. Uh, he's doing a video on some web stuff. But so we did that because it was based Rex on famous um, But, yeah, we're not a lot of people. This isn't, you know, big, big conglomerate. <laughs> it's two people it's plus a couple of helpers. <laughs> no, this is a high-end <laughs> studio. <laughs> This is very high tech high. We did pretty good in the garage. You guys couldn't tell us what it is, and we just gave it away. Ha ha! You thought you were in a high end studio the whole time. Um, okay. Uh, VFX, VFXgrades.com. Sale through March 31st, 2020. Website Websites. Go by. All the special pricing. 
on everything, especially Seiko and Sally. They're on over 30% savings on those. There's only a limited number of those, and they are selling. We started with 10 of each, I think. Yeah. Limited to 10 of each. Uh, we're going to go now to something else uh, while we get set up for sound, sound systems. systems. Okay, thank you. This is all going to go. This is all going to go. Well, got to get the bags. It's got to go. It's got to go. Go online. Get your, download your. No, I got to bag these download up. Download your linked. Uh, <laughs> okay, right now. Okay, it's all gotta go. Okay. Get it. Got it. Just carry it off. We got him. <laughs> Introducing VFX Attack Line Puppets. Life size interactive character Halloween puppets you wear and scare. Highly detailed, realistic character puppets created with haunt attractions and theme parks in mind. But they can also be a great Halloween costume. The Attack Line features zombie puppets. Clown puppets, scarecrow puppets, werewolf puppets, vampire puppets, mummy puppets, and more. Great to use in your Halloween attraction to entertain your queue line and, most importantly, as a marketing tool at parades and other events to promote your attraction. All VFX Attack Line puppets are ready to go out of the box and come with a hanging rack and puppet care guide and access to the VFX audio library. Be sure to get your life-size interactive character Halloween puppets you wear and scare. Only from VFX. Puppet features vary. Over actors not included.